First stop on this road trip is Nynäs estate, located by the coast 80 kilometers south of Stockholm. The manor house was built in the 1650s by Baron Erik Julenstjärna. The exterior that can be seen today is a result of a reconstruction made in the 1860s. The interior is a mix between 17th, 18th and 19th century styles. The orange tree, built in 1907, is where they stored exotic plants during the winters. They heated up the whole building to keep the plants alive. This old distillery from 1801 is nowadays being used as a hostel. In 1984, the province of Sörmland bought the estate and it's now open to the public for guided tours. Not far from Nines lies Stendur, a nature reserve. Here you can experience the archipelago without a boat, accessing the islands by bridges. There is also a visitor center where you can learn more about the archipelago and the Baltic Sea. It's open during the summer months and arrange guided tours and other activities. The nature reserve itself is of course open all year round.
From Torsklint, located close to the city of Norrköping, you get a decent view over the flat landscape below. Up here you can find the remains of a 2500 year old fortification where people took shelter during turbulent times. North of Lake Roxen, in a place called Kålfall, is a ravine full of rhododendron plants that is blossoming beautifully in June. This garden is privately owned, but it's possible to access parts of it if you take a path from the main road. The rhododendrons were planted in the 1950s by Count Oscar Wilhelm Douglas, owner of Kålfall at that time. Just a stone's throw away from Kålfall you will find Stjärnorp Castle, built in the mid-1600s by Count Robert Douglas and designed by architect Nicodemus Tessin the Elder. Known to have designed many prominent buildings in Sweden, like Drottningholm Castle, home to the royal family of Sweden. All the buildings were destroyed during a fire in 1789. Although the wings were built up again within a few years after the fire, the funds were lacking for repair of the main building, which is still in ruins. The main building is currently being restored by owner Eric Douglas to be preserved in its current state. This is what the castle looked like in the late 1600s. Stjärnorp also has a ravine with a path that makes it easy accessible to take a stroll along the creek. The Bari Locks, a part of a canal system that stretches all the way across Sweden, opened in 1832. In Bari there are a total of 11 locks that lifts or lowers vessels 29 meters or 95 feet. You can take a cruise ship on the canal from Bari or sail your own boat.
In Berg you will also find the Vreta Abbey Church and the ruins of the abbey itself. Both the abbey and the oldest part of the church is about 900 years old. Here you can see the remains of the arcade that surrounds the abbey courtyard. Parts of the old abbey wall still stands and the layout of the rooms can clearly be seen. <laughs> 